Hi guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. I do hope you're doing well. As you can see, it's mum's favourite video of the month, the mukbang. And we're going, kind of because it is getting nicer weather and Tesco's have launched a new range. They're actually doing a real Greek range. So you're going to see an overview in a moment and then we're going to come back because some of it was pricey, I can't lie, but I do think that is because it is the real Greek. If you've eaten at a real Greek, yeah. They are a bit pricier, but they are kind of the kings of Greek food. And I think right. it's really hard to find good Greek food in England. And growing up and going to nearly all the Greek Isles when I was a kid, I was brought up on Greek food. And I know good Greek. Yeah. And sometimes it just doesn't hit the spot, to be honest. This, so, looks, this looks lovely. Let's do an overview. Yeah. And then I will show you all the bits and bobs and we'll get on with the pricing. Right, so what you just would have seen, how much do you think it would have come to, Mum hasn't? Uh, I'd say £30. Pound. 38 Oh, a bit expensive, but hey-ho. So, let's start off with the giant beans. £5. Pound. These were £3.35, oh, right. and they are slow-cooked giant beans in a rich tomato and onion sauce with dill and garlic. Oh, now, that sounds nice. You can have these hot or cold. And they are giant. They're like giant butter beans. Yeah, yeah, haricot beans, aren't they? So it says you can have them hot or cold. I don't know. Hot, maybe. What you're yeah. fancying? Hot. You yeah. just heat them in a microwave, yeah. guys. So to be perfect. Oh, honest. they're all right. Dan saw it because I got this with Dan. He was like, three quid for beans." I was like, "No, these are Big like beans. good beans. Yeah. These would be nice." So my thinking is, this is just going to be a little side. Of course, you can't have Greek food without like flatbreads. Yes. How much do you think the flatbreads were, Mother? Uh, £5. Pound. £2.25. Pound oh, that's, that's good. That's and good. And you get four. three. Oh, no, you get four. four. Yeah. So, again, with these, you can gently warm them. I would just say warm them into the oven, quickly put them on, a yeah. little bit of water. Oh, no, remove all packaging, spread it with water, under a grill for two minutes. Right. Heat them up. You can either then cut them into squares with your tzatziki, but I think we will have this because I'm going to try and it make a gyros out of it. All right. So, these were two twenty-five. We then have a huge pot of tzatziki, which was also two twenty-five. Now they also did have hummus, but I thought I don't associate hummus with Greek. I associate no. hummus with Turkish. Right, right. So tzatziki, this that's is, the yogurt, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so it's a yogurt. Could you get no garlic and onion dip or nothing, Shan? But no, it's not Greek. Oh, okay. Greek. Right, this is right. like the. This is what I remember being on the boat trips. You used to get your slices of bread on the boat trip with your cucumber and your feta. Right, and you'd have right. your pot of tzatziki. Okay, I right, love this. Right. So what I'm thinking with that is heating up the flatbread, putting in your tzatziki, and then I got some gyros-style chicken. Five pound. So gyros-style chicken, seven pound. Oh, big expensive. They had it with pork and they had it with beef. But I've tried to get one type of yeah. meat each to try. But there again, the meat is expensive, whatever you buy now, isn't it? I mean, I don't know quite how big the portion is, but it says empty it into a dish, cover with foil, remove, base with the juices. It looks nice. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to be like that, and I think actually, we've got some onion, you've got some tomatoes in the fridge, haven't you? Yeah, the top. So we can maybe actually pop and make a gyros. Now, I saw these and was like, mm mm, they were £7 as well. <gasps> Majority of staff for the mains was oh £7. Oh, God, Shannon, £7 pound for that. But it's halloumi skewers. Yeah, but halloumi's not that dear. Halloumi's about £4. Yeah, but it's with fragrant oregano, garlic, and honey. Oh, well, then. You pay, you are paying so, a little so bit. So we're safer when we're eating them. I'm not going to look in the like of this. Right. So these you can have on the side. I would probably have them on the side and dip them into the tzatziki. These were £7 again. Right, okay. Traditional lamb kofters. Maybe £5 max should be. Well, yeah. I don't know how many we get in there. We'll have to oh, have a look yes, to see how okay. many we get in there. Yes. So we've got chicken, lamb, yeah. and then I've got meatballs with orzo. Oh, this was nice. £5, which. I didn't think it was too bad, guys, because it's kind of like an up, version an of a little Yeah. It's just a little bit of all and meatballs. I mean, you get six, six decent right, meatballs. Yeah. Five quid. I thought that could be a nice little ready meal, so we'll have that to try. And then this, this was five pounds as well. So this is pastititos. I think it's like the Greek lasagna. Oh, right, right. Looking at this, it says What's layers. What's it called? Pastitso. Pastitso? I, I, I don't know, guys. Pastizio. If we're pronouncing it wrong, I do apologise. Layers of pasta topped with tender beef mince and a rich bechamel sauce. So we've got like a lasagna dupe. So I yeah. wanted to get, as I say, we've got chicken, lamb, 
beef and then a lasagna. They yeah. didn't have any seafood though. I was looking to see if there was any seafood. I reckon these beans would be nice. I'm not sure about them. <laughs> Mum's not a fan of the halloumi. So no, we're but I do get... not halloumi, do not. I'll we'll, make you we'll more. See. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So I'm going to cook all of this. How are you, are we going to have the koftas on the side and you want the gyros to be with chicken? Uh, I'll we'll, make a chicken we'll, wrap. We'll wait and see because when we have this all, we or might Or I might be able to that. have one and one. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get cooking and I'll see you when the food's done, guys. So, I tell you what, guys, it's it is lovely. smelling good. <clears throat> yeah. Smelling good, good. Let's get in with the questions. So, kicking it off. Hi, lovely ladies. Mama G, would you ever do a day in the life video? You'd be so fun to hang out with. Yes, I would. If I knew how to do it. I'll teach you how to um, I want to greet camera. Meet, you want to meet and greet? Yeah. She's on the meet and greet, guys. Yep. Yeah. I must say, the smell when these come out of the oven. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Mum's drink of choice is a Fanta. And mine, I'm addicted to the lemon Coca-Cola at the moment. The chicken gyros. Mm. And I made me and mum an actual gyros with some tzatziki and tomato with one of the koftas and some chicken in it. So we've got a bit of the best of both. Let's have a look. Right. Bear with me guys because I'm working through the iPad. Let's have a look. One of my lovely says, Hi lovelies, just wondering if Mama is excited to redo the house once there's more room or sad. A double-edged sword, I imagine. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want I want to get my living room back, <laughs> but I should just have like a little settee or a chair. Dad can come and tune with your big TV in, and uh, have the windows wide open, ready for the summer. You want your music centre, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I might get a little uh, boombox mm -hmm. and just have that in here on the chair, because I do like the music better than the TV, don't I? I've that halloumi. Mm. Oh, Mum's nice. listening to the beans. Yeah. Please don't drop that Trent, on the right can you push? No, that's right. Can you push <coughs> my foot up a bit? <coughs> <coughs> Are the beans spicy? No, they're nice. <laughs> One of my lovely says, Hi, Shannon, Mama G and Dan. Hope you're well. No questions, but I just wanted to say... I've always wanted to do a zip line, and since seeing you do it when you was on holidays, pushed me to do it more. My mum paid for me to do it on Sunday the 9th of June at Hang Loose in Blue Water. Oh. Please see attached the photos, and it was the best experience ever. Oh. I'm so glad you found a home and look forward to the future videos in your new place. Lots of love to you all. And this was the loveliest that we met. Oh, the girl. Do the Hang Loose. That's a Blue Water. Oh my God, she's on her belly. That's how they do it in Wales. I as think well. that's what my friend did, Sam. In Wales, they go up somewhere in blue water in it, and they come down on their belly. Yeah. Oh, I think that's how they do it in the Wales one. But did you do that in uh, what, your holiday? My zip line was the one where I was sitting, but that's what I'd like to do at Wales. Oh, lay down on the belly. Mm. All right. Oh, but knowing they do it at blue water area, yeah, I think it's hence a lot closer than Wales. Mm. Oh wow. You go, girl. Love that. Hi, Shannon. First up, huge congratulations on your new home, and I'm so excited to see the move and making it your own. Thank you very much. I'm also excited to see what Mama, jo Mama G does to the bedroom. My question is, will you be hosting Christmas this year in your new place? You know what? Probably. Probably, but Christmas is a long way off, guys. And... <laughs> <not happening. laughs> I need to make sure it's livable. I mean, it should be, but... I've got to come do the trees probably, you know. Oh my god, yeah, I haven't got my food. Oh well, I'll be uh, tree free then for this year. No, I'll have to come do the trees then. Well, you've got your lovely fibre optic tree. Yeah. Which mum will have some of her decorations and I feel she's going to use it as an excuse to buy her own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have all my little gonks in here as well. Oh yeah. I'll have a little table with my gonks on and on the <laughs> window still with children. So so when I, I take, I've gone a bit potty. When I take the gonks out of the lockup, we need to decide what ones are yours. Yeah. Well, you're going to take them all. 
Well, everything's just bunged in the locker. Oh, right, okay, it? yeah. But I mean, I've got my nice one from Rosina from last year on my windowsill. I've got that nice LGBTQ thing, whatever you bought me. Mm -hmm. I've got the nice pink one there that somebody sent me. I've got a yellow one from the lady from Australia. Lots. She's gonkified. Mm. Will you do a little bit of decorating for autumn still? Uh, well, what can I do for autumn then? Little pumpkins, innit? If you see any, if you go out. No, I'm like, just thinking, Shannon, because you've mats. got three bedrooms with hardly any furniture. Take this furniture with you to fill the room, and then you can just uh, declutter or whatever, or get new furniture when you want. I don't think hardly any of this will be coming. What? But you ain't already got any furniture there for you. In the bedroom, no, because I'm you? changing the style. Oh, I'm, I'm not even, in. guys, I'm not even looking at furniture yet. Oh, yeah, all right then. I need to get the flooring and the walls sorted before I look at what's going in on it. But yeah, I think Christmas may be mine. I'm not too sure yet. What are you both looking forward to in the future? Um, nothing really. Just looking forward to going up to your house when you're done it. I thought the first thing normally that comes out of mum's mouth is, um, oh goodness gracious. That's all right, come on. Looking forward to your pension? Yeah, but that's a long way <laughs> off now, isn't it? I'm just put that out the back of my mind now. You don't think about your pension? No, no. Mm -mm. These um, giant beans are nice. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're cold though, aren't they? We ended up doing them cold because I thought if you had them hot... Too much hot. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be really nice if you was having a barbecue, as like a little yeah. side. Well, you know what I said to you about the barbies in Tesco? Mm. That one that was 2 90 to 2 10 that's gone back up to 2 90 You know the double one with the lid and the two things at the side? 2 90 So do you want me to keep an eye? Well, I doubt I'll be having barbecues this year. I'll just look next year. No, I know, but if we, you get a decent sale, because <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've got the patio set, haven't you? And yeah, the that's set. Delivered. That was on a good deal. A very good deal. Right. One of my lovers says, Hi, Sham. Hope you're well. I'm good. Hope you're well too, darling. As a question for both you and Mama G, do you experience jealousy when in a relationship? Such as, would you be bothered if your partner said they found someone sexy or liking pictures of girls on social media? I'll talk them on. Yeah, see, that yeah. I don't tolerate. No. Because mm -mm. that means they're not happy with what they've got, isn't it? And I think there's a very fine line mm. and that line, pardon me, can get crossed and I just think it's not respectable of the that, other partner. That's right. It, especially if they say it, they're always ugly, isn't it? And if you're liking other people's pictures, I'm like, mm. not, not necessarily other people's, but if you're liking the opposite genders and they look a certain way or it's a bit provocative, yeah. I just think, mm, it's a bit muggy. They continue to say, I'm very insecure and it makes me paranoid and jealous. I'm not insecure about my partner. I 100% trust him. And it may sound weird, but I think it stems from me not being 100% confident in my looks. I'm always complimented about my appearance by my partner, people I know, and even strangers. And not in a big-headed way. I know I'm not a monstrosity to look at. However, no matter what anyone tells me, I get very jealous at the thought of my partner's eyes drifting at others which I don't think he would. However, I do feel it's thrown at you on social media, Facebook, yeah, yeah. Instagram. And when we share our social pages, that for a small business we have that we don't own and we don't follow anything sexual kind of thing, but it's just naked women, boobs and butt is plastered everywhere. Yeah. It literally is. Yeah. And I find it's really hard for girls if they have self-confidence issues. I find myself getting angry with my partner when it's plastered all over and he makes comments like, I bet you love looking at this and stupid things like that that I know it's silly. And it's not his fault that they're pushed onto our page when he isn't searching. I'm just wondered whether I'm being paranoid or overthinking or whether you would feel any way about these types of things in a relationship. I know it's natural for people to be attracted to people naturally and that can't be changed, but I make up silly scenarios in my head and drive myself insane such as I bet he wishes I was someone else Aww. or looked at someone else. First off, you are stunning. You don't have to no, think of no. that. And I don't think that that is paranoid over thing. Like, me and Dan have a very clear line that if you want to go and ogle at someone else, then please feel free. Like, we have the mutual respect. Like, our eyes don't wander. And no, but I Shane, think... what would you do if you, you went down and you 
you saw like that lady saying, had Dan's holding your hand, somebody goes past and all suddenly goes. I'd say, oh, did you have a good look? <coughs> yeah, that's what I'd say. Yeah. I'm very direct, but as I say, we have like, I don't ogle at guys. He don't ogle at women. What, and do I think... you feel, is that, you don't do that because you feel it's happy in your relationship? Yeah, and I yeah, think it's yeah. a sign of respect for the other person. And that you're happy in each other. Yeah. Right. And yeah. as you say, it is plastered over everywhere. Like, yeah. You can't avoid it if you're scrolling on Instagram, things pop up, but it's, if it pops up, you just continue to swipe. It's not you sit there and Ogling. ogle at it. Yeah. I would say it's nothing to worry about. No, I wouldn't say that if you've but got 100% faith. But play, if, he, if they're going down the road and his head starts physically turning, she needs to say something. I'd slap that off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. yank that and 360 yeah. it. Yeah. I don't tolerate stuff like that and I think, mm, no. As I say, you have 100% faith in him. I get it because... Dan will say to me sometimes, do you trust me? And I say, I trust you, but I don't trust women. Hmm. Because, unfortunately, it's not a nice world. And sometimes men will say to women, I trust you, but I don't trust guys because it's the other side of the coin. So I think as long as you have the trust and the respect and it's yeah. not, as mum says, like, if you're walking down the street and it's physically like, I would be like, <laughs> excuse me, like, yeah. that's not a acceptable. That's, that's not like right. the line that we have here. So... No, I completely, you're within your right to feel like that. And and if he mentions anything about when you're sitting there, oh, this woman's attractive, I would be thinking, uh-uh. No, I don't yeah. think, if that got said, I think that's crossing the line. Yeah, yeah. Good try. Mm. Oh, I wish I will. Have you tried the orzo? The orzo's nice. Yeah. I've got my sauce on that. There is actually a real Greek at... Blue water as well, talking of blue water. One of my loves says, Hey, my lovelies and Dan. Love the channel as always. Thank you. With regards to the new house, with the significant changes you want to make, are you going to live in it and see what you definitely want to have done or are you having it done before you move in? I'm having stuff done before I move in properly. I couldn't live in a house that's a building site. Mm. The thought of having to put stuff in, then move it out, then... Yeah. That's not a bit of me. I'm going room by room. We're getting what we need done. And then once that room's done, then we can start moving bits in. But as I say, I'm giving myself like a few months. I'm thinking end of August time. That gives me a good steady pace. And I say, we're doing lists you, upon you lists. You know, with the lock up, are you just going to get the van from work and put that in the shed? Yes, because yeah. I have until end of July for that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, or maybe if he'd done a deal, you could have it a month or so more. I see, because yeah. the um, okay. difference in price is astronomical. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. But, oh, they're miserable. Yeah, they're nice. I like chicken. Mmm. I couldn't live in a building site. Once stuff goes in there, the way I look at it, guys, once that's in there, that's not moving no, for five it? years. That's right, yeah. I'm not going to be changing, decorating, and all that jazz, because it's not a forever house. It's... Just me to get on the stepping ladder. Five years, make it a home. Yeah. Don't spend goes. too much on it. No, but I need to spend make a bit livable. to modernise yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. kitchen, I need to do and modernise it. I need the boiler. We're in the mm. 21st century. I yeah, need yeah. a decent boiler. Now, Dan's not here, but you have sent a question for Dan, and it says, is there anything you'd like done to the house, or are you going with the flow for now? Dan has his ideas of what he wants. He's very much with the garden. Oh, yeah. He's got his vision of what he wants with the garden and he's helping me internally like thinking of like the doors and placements and bits like that. So it's just a team effort to be honest, my lovelies. We're just going You've got each to time. show him what you can afford. Yeah, but I'm like, if I can afford it, I'd like it done yesterday. Right, yeah. Right. But it's just the time and it's yeah. Dan says he's very methodical because he thinks, Why are you gonna pay someone to paint that wall when we can come after work and paint it? Yeah, but it's yeah, just I'll the see. time. Yeah, yeah. So it's all trying to do But you are you are spending more time there, aren't you now? It's only one or twice a week. I've got my a weekend on my own at the end of the month for the house. Right. So I've got my list. I've got people in and out doing all their quotes and that. And I've got my list of what I want to do. The only thing Dan has said to me is, please do not touch the electrics. No. I said, I want to start changing the light switches. He's like, please. No, no, leave that. Wait till I'm back. I'm like, okay. Right. Now, mum don't really watch YouTube, but he says... 
if you could only subscribe to one YouTube channel, not your own, for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I like that man eating the food. <coughs> man versus food. Beard meets <coughs> food. The yeah. man with the big I, beard. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Or the man with the table. Rate my takeaway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mine would have to be, if I could only choose one. Mmm. Not a beauty thing or nothing, eh? I can't remember the name of it because there's so many that I watch at the moment. But like a travel series, people who just go off travelling and like renovate camper vans and all that. Oh, right. Well. Maybe like theme park worldwide. They do the theme parks, they do the travelling. Damn, oh, because he would love the um, theme park. Have you ever made prank phone calls or played knock and run as a child? Yes. <laughs> knock, knock down ginger. Yeah. Did yeah. you do any prank phone calls? Uh, no, because the telephones weren't there when I was growing up. Oh. Yeah. Um, I remember doing knock down ginger. I don't think I've ever done a prank phone call. I like that man that used to do that. Hello, Terry Tubbs? Oh, Terry Tibbs. Terry Tibbs, oh yeah. Phone jacker. Yeah, I used to like that. What do you mean you're not there? I can see you, I can see you. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Have you tried that Positana? God, you've demolished yours, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, guys. This could be a game changer for like a fake away night. This is like a lasagna, but it's got pasta in, isn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah. Greek version. Have this again. <clears throat> so that positana and the meatballs with orzo, that's a little ready meal you can put in the microwave or in the oven, five pound. All right. I think that's nice. Yeah. Because I feel you'd get that with your flatbreads. Yeah, I'm going to try my flatbread. <laughs> and that's one sorted for the night. <laughs> when you think I'm, I'm not really eating. You remember when we had that lovely roast dinner? I couldn't really eat that two weeks ago, could I? Because I'm so ill. back there. Yeah. When I'm much better. I showed Dan and he was like, oh. I was like, you would die at it. I was like, it was delicious. I ate one and a half roast dinners. I won't let that yeah. go twice. Did you have an imaginary friend when you was a kid? No. You had, didn't you? I did. She was naughty, wasn't she? She was very naughty. <laughs> Cheryl. What was her name, Mum? Cheryl. Don't ask me where the name Cheryl come from. No. I've got no idea. But can you remember any of the mishaps that Cheryl done? Yeah, lots of them. Like what? Just about to dish up the casserole. And Cheryl puts a bit of paper up your nose, didn't she? And you sniffed it up your nose. And you sat in A&E for two hours. Just about to get the thing to get it down. And all of a sudden you sneezed and blew it out. Yeah. Oh. And I loved it because I think Dada stayed home and just ate his dinner, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had ours when we got back. He won't come into the hospital. Cheryl, Cheryl was a little mm, naughty girl. Apart from that, I don't think Cheryl was too bad. Unless there's instances that I can't remember. No, she weren't too bad. But I, I just have no idea where she come from. And another time when we thought that you had meningitis, weren't you? I rang the doctor during the day and he decided to knock the door at 11 o'clock at night and wanted me to wake you up when you was two years old. I said, no, no, no. Then he said to me, well, if she gets worse, it's down to you. I said, all right, mate, ta-da. <laughs> That's um, the great doctor service that yeah. we have. That was all them years ago as well, Shane. <laughs> well, okay. How old were you when you first found out Santa wasn't real? What, you? Both of us. Um, I was about four or five at Nanny Margaret and Granddad Joe's because I looked through the keyhole and saw him taking them out of the loft coming down the stairs. <laughs> what, and you see them putting them behind the thing? I don't know with me. I think maybe about six or eight when we, me and Sylvia used to pull the wardrobe behind and find all the presents behind the wardrobe. Oh. That's one way of finding out that uh, Santa doesn't exist. What's all these presents? Oh, we're just holding them for Santa. Oh, there used to be an old wardrobe in Mum and Dad's room and they used to go behind. I mean, Sylvia used to move it and it all used to be behind. <coughs> ah. Cindy doll, Barbie dolls, furniture. Pardon me. Oh. If you were invisible, <coughs> who would you spy on? 
Uh, my next door neighbour. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say in next door. <laughs> yeah. If I was invisible, the havoc that I would play, guys. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I will put that pedal down in that car, mate. <laughs> Just miraculously park the car from yeah. the street onto their drive. Yeah. And be like, hello, how did it get there? Yeah, yeah, good. I really, really like this Greek lasagna. Yeah, it's nice. I never would have thought of doing it with pasta. I like this little tiny rice stuff. Yeah? Yeah. I've put my uh, juice from my beans in there. All oh, right, okay. In the um, wrap, I've put the tzatziki. All right. If you could switch places with someone for a day, who would it be? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Uh, maybe Catherine, the Queen. I'd like to see what her home life is like. Yeah. You know, Queen Catherine. Yeah. Who had her first appearance at Trooping the Colours, guys. What are we thinking about that? Yeah. She looks a lot, didn't she? She looks... On the men, but yeah. you can never judge fully what the situation could be like. Um, if I could switch places for someone for a day, would it be somebody famous or just... <coughs> you know what? Probably sounds very superficial. I'd swap the day for like Courtney Kardashian. Oh, what's Courtney? The little one. Oh, yeah, yeah. With Travis, because she's like Rocky. Just to see. But haven't they changed in girl shame? Just to see how they live their life, like what is a but daily. But their mum lives their life. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents do or have done? Oh, this is obviously for you. And you. Didn't uh, little granddad ever embarrass you? No. Uh, no, not really, I don't think. Maybe once when Nan was drunk and she broke all the plates. I was just going to say, Mum's is like her dancing, her random singing. <coughs> we could be out shopping. She'll hear a song. That's it. Yeah, I love her. She's like, mm -hmm. I don't really no, care. Mum's just stopped. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then she sees a member of staff looking at her, she's like, oh, I like this one. I'm like, oh, God. Normally in the trainer shop, isn't it, of all the young boys? Or HMV, you like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mum. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's oh. hope that don't stain. You're going to have to get your silly bang on it. Well, I might get the fairy liquid in a minute. <coughs> I think it's going to stain like the bolognese sauce. <laughs> so Nana Grandad never embarrassed you? I only then once when she was drunk and she broke the plates. Granddad used to come through with his uh, wife once after the bar. Getting ready to go to the club. What is the weirdest gift you've ever received? Uh, my gift's probably uh, a sign better to say that I'll be getting money back that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've had weird gifts. I'd say I've had a gift that was probably not my cup of tea. Many, many moons ago, I was given a present from an ex of a handbag and it just wasn't me, was it? No. It wasn't me at all. And... But you didn't know that person. We did speak well, about it. Yeah. But I said, for something like that, I wish he'd have just asked, or even asked mum for a little bit, because if he'd have said to mum, oh, what kind of style was her bag, la, 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 yeah. mum could have said, It was oh. a lot of money, though, wasn't it? That went to charity, didn't it? I don't know. I don't think I kept it. Not the pink one that went when you uh, <laughs> had the pin on it. All right. What is a word or a phrase that you've realised you've been saying wrong your whole life? Mine is chimney. For years, I didn't realise it was... For years, I didn't realise it wasn't pronounced chimney. <laughs> oh, chimney. And the oh. lady was calling it chimney. Oh. What have I been saying wrong all my life? 
Um, I get a lot of stick for... Probably the word please and us, me and Dad say no. You're <laughs> not having it. I get a lot of things that I say by sister because people call it bister. Yeah, yeah. That's a big thing. Everyone says to me, no, I'm like... What's it What's it called? Bister. You know... We call it by sister, don't we? But they say it's bister. Oh. I'm like, mm -mm. Oh. that's not how I say it. What is the most unsettling film you've ever seen? Ooh, so what film have you one. come away from and thought, oh, <clears throat> some that you make me watch in here? <laughs> that one where that woman was on that, that table and all her arms was... <laughs> the Last Exorcist. Oh, yeah. I didn't the like Last that. Exorcism, I think. And that one with that nude lady when she's over the table. I think that's called the Moat House. Hostel. Yeah. And they cut her throat, isn't it? Yeah, with the blood yeah, She just, pardon me, she just drips, doesn't she? Oh. I would say the most unsettling. I wouldn't say unsettling, but it makes you think because it's a real story is Exorcism of Emily Rose. Just one, for the it? fact that it's a true story and it was all because she opened the college dorm door. It come in and it got up. That stuff plays on me. Oh, because... is that not Carrie, where she burns? No, Carrie's the one at school. Exorcism of Emily Rose, we've seen. She's in a long white gown and she's in a college dorm. You can have them. You don't want the halloumi? <laughs> and yeah, that's the one that I think... Anything that is a true story, I wouldn't say unnerves me, but it does get you thinking. Yeah, because you think you, you can't think their faults and... Like no, because you, it just goes to show that it can happen to anyone. Yeah, but like I said to you, if I'm going to stay in your house, nobody's died in there, <laughs> have they? Because I'll be sleeping downstairs with the lights on the night. Not with the price of electricity, Mum. I don't care. <laughs> I was like you last night. I was going around turning everything off. I'm in a half dilemma because we always sleep with the hall light on. Dan doesn't sleep with the hall light on. But I feel it's too dark if it's not with it on. So I feel like I might need a night light. In the hallway while I'm getting used to it. Well, just have one of them ones that's on at night and in the dusk it comes off. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a little something just to even put on the landing. Yeah. Because I'm used Where to having a light. At the on. minute now, you need, oh, I was going to say you need to be, but that's before you get the carpets, isn't it? So we were sleeping on the sofas downstairs. Yeah. Two little two seater sofas that <laughs> we had the fear that we was going to fall through them in the middle of the night. So Dan got a double blow-up mattress. Oh, is that their thing that come? We took it upstairs and we actually slept in the bedroom last night. Oh. What, to with see, the like, with pillars? the noise and all of that. Yeah. It weren't that too bad. A couple of noises going down, but you don't get a lot in the area. <laughs> oh, that's good. What do you think... <laughs> was, it, was the mattress a double-sized one? Yeah. So, so how would you pump it up? We got a pump. Oh, what, with it? Yeah. Oh. What do you do that's considered an old person thing? <clears throat> Mine's probably reading the Daily Mail online. Everyone says, why do you just go on like TikTok or Instagram for your news? I have a newspaper. You think that's an old thing? Yeah, yeah. Because when you think it's a pound, don't they? Hmm? A, pa a pound for a newspaper. Oh my God. One thirty on Saturday and one sixty on Sunday. So when you add that up, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Why more on the weekend? Well, I don't know. Blasphemy. There might be more news going on. Who knows? It's daylight robbery. Yeah. Which of your vices, bad habits, would be the hardest to give up? Uh, well, when I'm normal, drinking. Because <laughs> I do like to have a little drink, don't I? <laughs> oh, God, you're all right. But I ain't drunk anything for three weeks. Going cold turkey. No, I just don't feel like I want to go. Just been having uh, cold drinks. <coughs> Water. My bad habit, I know it's a bad habit. I've done it ever since I was little. Licking a knife. Mm. I don't think I'll ever get out of that. But I will not lick a knife when I'm out for a meal. No, no. In the comfort of my own home, though, I will do as I please and lick my knife. But yeah, that is a bad habit. It's but, past us being rude, isn't it? Yeah, people yeah. get really offended by it. I mean, I'm sorry if you do. 
as a child, what did you think was awesome about being an adult but isn't as awesome as you thought? Being an adult in general. Yeah. I... Being told what to do and then know you can tell them when you're older. I don't like the fact that as an adult, why do we not get half terms like in school? That should be a thing. Whether you're working or in school, I would like my Easter half term break. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I would like a May Day break up. Fair enough, not your teacher training for adults, but I think as a kid, you think, oh, I can't wait to drive. <coughs> can't wait to do this. Can't wait to work. I'll pay my own stuff. No. Well, what happens? It's done, isn't it? <laughs> It's like being an adult, it's hard. And I think with everything going on at the minute, it's not getting any easier. Was there anything you thought as a kid? Oh, I can't wait to do that as an adult. Yeah, drive. And was it as good as you thought? Oh, not really. Oh. I was all right when I was young, I was being a little Capri, but as you get older, you just think, oh, you've learned it now. What is there else to learn? I remember when I first passed, I was so careful with my car. Wouldn't slam a door. So, <laughs> now I open the door, kick her back. <coughs> She's, oh, you are? Right? Yeah. She's a bit battered, but she gets me from A to B. She's got a few mums on her now, isn't she? She's clocking up the mileage. Yeah. Still not bad, though. And I think I've just run her into the ground now, to be honest, guys. She's cheap and cheerful. And that... I want you to show me that thing tomorrow, that noise. Okay. My car's basically done like a thousand miles in four days. And I know it's a bit of a whining. Maybe it's to do with the speed I was doing, but we won't go into that. So we just said, get You said out. you saw some oil or something and it was a bit loose on the top, and it? Under the oh, bonnet. I lift the bonnet and show you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. please. If you owned a restaurant, what food would you serve and what would you call it? Oh. I'd like to serve... I, I like sushi, don't I? Yeah. What would you call it? Sushi City or something like that. I would call mine Time for an Adventure and I would serve food from everywhere like Japan, Mexico, Thai, England, Spain, France, Greece. Oh, right. Time for an Adventure. Hmm. Good. I like that. I think that has a little ring to it. Have you ever burst out <laughs> laughing at a really inappropriate time? Mine was at a funeral and me and my sister got the giggles because of some man's bad singing voice and we oh. couldn't stop. And it was so embarrassing. We got such bad looks from people. And I'd like to say we were kids, but actually she was late 30s and I was in my early 40s. Oh, good on you. I have laughed inappropriately many times in workplaces, whether that's been from the kitchen, retail, like, yeah, that is my thing. When it's your, your time not to laugh and you need to be serious, I just... You, you just can't help it, can you? I and normally, it'll always be, you'll be with that one person yeah. and you're like, don't do it. I normally laugh when I see people walking along the street and they, they flip over on their shoe. Like what you do? Yeah. <laughs> that's your karma, that's why yeah. you fall over yeah. so much. I know, oh, well, I, don't, I don't fall over a lot. <laughs> just a few bits. One of my lovely says, your house looks lovely and hope you're proud of yourself. What an achievement. Oh, thank you. Yes. You're very kind of you, Joe. I have a thing. I can't feel proud. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, mm. Is it like the next step in your life? That's what you see. No, I just think investment, house, turn it around. Yeah. Money. Like, I'm more proud... That I flew to the Caribbean on my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not the fact that I bought a house that I travelled on my own. That is my... That's that, what I'm proud of. That first that first time was a bit horrendous, wasn't it? And the second time, I thought, what? Yeah. Jamaica, I love life. Do you think you'll end up changing jobs when you move? I don't know. You might get somewhere near, aren't you? It's all about just looking with pay, location, 
hours. How have you been finding it though, getting to work from the house? About an hour. Oh. Which isn't too bad. And what's the traffic like when you go? Hardly any on there. Because you leave in early the mornings enough. it's okay. In the yeah. evenings you might get an hour and ten, hour and fifteen. Yeah. But swings and roundabouts. Can you do a new series of you moving at least one video a week based on hours and stuff? I would love to do a weekly video of the move, but what I am doing is I'm documenting as I go and you will just get random vlogs as and when because there'll be a random vlog of like where we're buying all the bits and bobs and everything like that and then I want to do one on say like the kitchen, the bathroom, like doing room by room but I am documenting it all. It will just take a little bit more time than normal because it's a slow process, you know? And also what you want to do is take pictures of the room before. Oh, I've done all my before. Oh, right. And, and then, then I'll do it yeah, during yeah. and after and see yeah. how it is. I even want to do like the videos where say you stand at the door, push it in, yeah. cover it over and then when you pull it back it's like ta-da. Oh, right. So I've got a lot of ideas guys for the house. One of my lovely says, I love your channel. What will you miss about not living with your mum when you leave? Having to do your own washing, I think. Having my bath. Oh, yeah, at the minute, ain't it? Well, you can come back once a week and have a bath. <laughs> I will be having the bath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you've got to get used to uh, having a washing line and doing your own washing. It's actually weird not being on one level. It's weird having to go up the stairs for something. Oh, yeah, because we ain't got stairs, have we? So, you wait till you start running up and down there, girl, you'll be as skinny as anything. If I'm upstairs and like down down and I shout, sometimes if he's in a world of his own, he won't hear me. Here, I'll shout through to mum if she don't hear me, I call her. I'm like, mum! She's like, what, mate? I've been calling you. <coughs> I'm in the bath, mum, can I have a can of pop? Yeah, okay then. That's what I said. I, I had a shower this morning and I was like, no, I need my bath. So as soon as I come back, I had my bath and hair It's a shower one. though, isn't it? It is big, but it's just, I like a bath because at the end of the night, I like to just take the weight off, chill, yeah, soak in, in yeah. and relax. I can't do that in a shower unless I sit on the shower floor. But um, it's bits and bobs. Yeah. Any tips and advice on saving to build a rainy day fund? I need to have a rainy day fund because <laughs> at the minute all my funds have gone. But I would say the way to save for a rainy day fund is... There's these apps now that round up stuff. So if you spent £1.62, it'd put that odd 38p in a savings thing and oh, you'd build right. things up like that. Um, I would also say, like, putting it in, having a direct debit, say when you get paid or whatever or get money in, to put it straight to another account. If you can afford it. Yeah. Like, I do that. <coughs> I have one going into Nationwide. I have one going into Moneybox for my pension. Like, I have various little things so that, in essence, they're there for a rainy day. But as I say at the moment... There is no rainy day. So fund. with money books, I thought that was only for your house. And now I've done the house, I'm using it as a pension fund. Well, can you do that then? So I put into it until I am... 25? No. Um, 99? I think you put into it until you're... Maybe 55? Yeah, and then you yeah. cash it at 60. Yeah. No, you, no, you can put into 55 and cash it at 55. No, no, you have a five oh. year where it has to mature. Oh, well, oh. So that's how money boxes. Oh. Where was the best meal out you've ever had? Oh. Oh, we've had so many, haven't we? Marco Pierre White when we had the Chateau Brion. <laughs> Where did Marco Pierre White? Yeah, uh, that roast was really nice if I could have managed it, wasn't it? That was Black lovely. Mark. The flat iron, which we might be going to tomorrow. That was lovely, wasn't it? Mine would be Ivy Asia. That's up there for me. The afternoon tea at St Paul's. Oh, right. Yeah, where it was all dark. I love that. Yeah. That's up there for me. Oh. If you could visit one dream holiday, what would it be and where? Mine would be... It would either be Bora Bora or touring the south of America. Like, um... Is that Bora Bora, the little hut in the and all that. Water? Yeah. Right. Uh, what would mine be? Considering I ain't got a passport. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I would like to go maybe Hawaii. But that's long way away, isn't it? What about Canada? Yeah, I might go into the Rockies and see all the snow. Mm -hmm. 
What's the plan for your bedroom and the living room for your mum when you move out? The back room. When the day goes, and not it? This, this is going bed in there. will probably go in there because that will still be a room for if me and Dan come down and stay in the week. And then this will become mum's living room, mm -hmm. which is a social her music centre. TV. TV, little your sofa, table. your table. Yeah. Be loving her life. Yeah. Would you let Mama G live in your new house with you and Dan if she said she couldn't live on her own? No. I wouldn't do that. I'd have it there. I mean, there's a spare room there. No, but I think... I'd have to get a stair lift though installed. <laughs> no, but I think it, this is your next chapter of your life. You don't want your fucking... I mean, I mean <laughs> sorry, if you're, you don't want your, your living room over there, do you? We're going to be there a bit and I'll be back and forth and me and Dan. It's still going to be like vice versa, guys. Just very split. I think I'm... I think I'm doing all right getting used, but... It's just this last three weeks or a month, I've just felt so ill, ill, and that's due to other things. But I think my immune system's gone a bit haywire. Yeah. Even though then blood tests have come back all right and my blood pressure's all right. You've got weakness. Maybe you need some, like, iron or, <coughs> like, you've got deficiency in something. Well, no, because... <coughs> Excuse me, girls. No, because she said the blood test has come back all right. Oh. But every three months, I'll get this, like, same thing. Husky voice, cough, mm. feel like crap, you know. What are your plans for Christmas? You at Mama G's or your home? Lots of love, Kelly of Cardiff. Hello, oh, lots of love. Of I think it will be at home, like the house. So it'll have to be getting Mama G down. We'll have to see if Dada ventures out. Oh, yeah, get him in the wheelchair. <coughs> His knees are painting him up a bit at the minute, guys. Wishing you and Dan happiness and good health in your new home and also to Mama G. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why do you call your dad Dada? Lots of love to you both. It's just like a nickname. Yeah. Like yours is Mama G. I don't call mum Mama G. I don't shout out Mama G. Like, <laughs> it's almost like your alias. It's your stage no, name. No, but, but on your phone, you have him as daddy, didn't you? And I have him as dad. No. Dad. Oh, do you? Right, then you're older. You're still mummy. But uh, what what is dad when you call then? Is it the golden child pops up or something like that? I actually don't know what I am in Dad's phone. Oh, well, I'll have a look. You'll have to call him one day and say to me, Mum, I'm going to call him. See, see what, what I am comes on the phone. Because on, on that glass, it did make me laugh. He, he put his glasses on and he went, what's that say? From your... I say I'm like from your only child. No, from your awesome daughter, weren't it? Oh, yeah. On that brandy glass. <laughs> he liked that, I think. Not a question. I just embarrassed because I outed my boyfriend to my family. Ooh, drama. Oh, one of my lovely says, I messaged last month about coming home from uni and having controlling parents. I took your advice and thank you. I've been getting out of the house a lot more and it's made being at home more bearable. Oh, well That's done. Good. Enjoy. Very, very Enjoy. Good. Let's have a look. Sea or food? <clears throat> sea or food? Definitely has to be food. You want to see? Hi, you two. Nosy question, but how far away from Mama G will you be living? So on a good traffic day, it'll be about an hour and ten. If it's on a bad one, you've got no know. chance. And then one of my lovely says, hey, guys, this is the one we we ending on this one. Yes, we are. What? Not a question, but please keep Mama G involved in your channel when you officially move. She'll still be here. And just come to think of it, you'll have the areas, say, set no, up at my I'll, house, I'll... and you'll have all the new bits of Mum's house. No, but obviously you'll come to here and we'll still do the bang and the things, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I say you'll have bits at my house and then there'll be bits where me and mum could be chilling on the sofa here chatting away. So actually you get probably, you might even end up getting more content or like more variety. Yeah, because when you come I'll have a little settee or something there, yeah. wouldn't I? Yeah. So uh, <coughs> definitely, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so there will definitely yeah. not be a shortage of content, guys. Do not worry about that. No. And that, my lovelies... It's What's a wrap. the last one? It's a wrap. <laughs> That's my says. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for sending them all in once again. And as I say, apart from Mum's spillage all down her top, I can't fault the Greek. No, I'm I'm puffed now. I'm gonna eat the you... rest of my wrap off camera because it's quite messy and yeah. I don't wanna. You can have my halloumi. Oh, you don't like the no, halloumi? No. What would you say your favourite part of it all was? Uh, I like the meatballs with that little rice thing and also, chicken. Yeah. yeah. And I like the little lasagna thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you there. I love the um, butter beans and the yeah, halloumi. They, nice. they was like mm, top tier. I still have a whole pot of tzatziki here, which we'll be tucking into the flatbreads. 
And guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I say, leave us a comment, anything you want to discuss about today's video. Or, thank you very much for sending them in. If you want to get involved, I always do a poll over on my Instagram. Or drop me an email down below. You get added to the list and you can get involved if you want. But if not, anything. yeah, there's nothing off bars at all here. Nothing. Guys, take care. Stay safe as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.